Ah, the Death Charger's Reigns. It's a mount of legendary status, coveted by both casual players and mount farmers alike. With an abysmally low drop rate, people online share stories of the thousands of attempts it takes them to get this mount, and the hundreds if not thousands of hours they spent grinding it out. So I asked myself the question, how long would it take now, in 2024? So today I will cover all the details covering exactly how to get the mount and the fastest farming route that I found to get each mount attempt under 4 minutes with no special gear sets or any of those other shenanigans. It's a speedrun guide for everyone. At the end will be a commentated run of the route that I took so that you can see it in full and replicate and improve it as you see fit. Here's that timestamp if you want to just skip ahead to that part. Let's start with how to get the mount. The Death Charger's reins are dropped by Lord Aureus Rivendare, which is the final boss of Stratholme. It's a recolor of the undead race's epic mounts, and upon using it, it will be added to your mount catalog as Rivendare's Death Charger. Just look at him sitting proudly atop his legendary horse, none the wiser that millions of times he will be hunted down just for others to get the chance at his mount. The mount has an extremely low drop chance, around 1%. It used to actually be like 1 in 5,000, but now it means on average it may take you around 100 attempts to get this mount. Stratholme is located in the northern border of the Eastern Plagueland Zone, which is in the Northern Eastern Kingdoms. So what's the fastest way to clear the dungeon consistently? The route I took was as follows. You head into the dungeon at the service entrance. This is important. It's located here on the map. And then go straight in for Nerubin Carr. Kill him and enter the ziggurat and kill the adds to take out the first crystal. Head immediately across the way to the Baroness and do the same thing, making sure that you get the crystal destroyed. From here you take the eastern pathway up to Maleki and finish off the third crystal. Then it's into the slaughterhouse courtyard to clear out all of the abominations, which will then spawn Ramstein the Gorger. After his death, a bunch of undead will storm you from the western gate. Once you kill all of them, five sentries will spawn inside the final ziggurat. After they're dead, a back gate will open within, where you can find Rivendare himself. Take him down, loot his corpse, and then run out the exact same way you came back in. Don't take the western gate back, as it will lock you in for about 20 seconds while rats just sit there and annoy you. Just run back out the way you came. So which class is best for this? Well, I tested runs on two classes known for their speed and old content clearing prowess, the Demon Hunter and the Druid. On average, my Demon Hunter runs took 3 minutes and 51 seconds, and my Druid runs took 3 minutes and 41 seconds, which is a full 10 seconds faster on average. And the Druid run is more reliable if you're doing back-to-back -back runs, and also it's easier to perform overall, so I would recommend going with a Druid for this. And this is also without any special movement speed gear. So here's the talent build that took me about 30 seconds to come up with so that I could just grab a couple speed talents like this one here, which makes Stampeding Roar have a shorter cooldown. So that's it for the fastest casual way to farm the Death Charger's reins right now, and if you want more guides like this, the best way to let me know is to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. Let me know which mount run you want to see next in the comments. Now, let's get on to the actual full run, shall we? So I start off this run immediately by casting my speed boost and opening the left hand gate. What we're going to try and do is basically get to that far gate without aggroing any enemies. Following this I'm using my stampeding roar. I'm going around the left side and waiting for the magistrate to despawn before I open this first gate. And then there's a second gate over here we need to open as well where I'm going to immediately stealth just so I don't grab any aggro from any enemies. I'm going to go swing around the left hand side. I'm also going to be using my charge as much as possible just to gain a little bit of extra movement. And what we're going to do is go to Nerubin Car first here. So once we kill him, the ziggurat will open and we need to kill all of these enemies inside. There are five of them, these Thuzidin Acolytes. So I'm just jumping over and thrashing and all of them are dead. We can prowl out of here in stealth, which I'm doing again. So we can make our way across the courtyard to the Baroness. That's the next enemy. Once again, we're going to charge where we can. The enemies we want to avoid in this dungeon are the Crypt Crawlers. So that's all of those spider looking dudes because they do have a route that's really annoying to deal with if you don't have a way to get out of it, which druids also do. So here we are in the second ziggurat after killing the Baroness, and we've killed the second crystal, which you can see on the right hand side we have two of the three Ashari crystals destroyed. I'm now once again stealthing and going past these guys, but I accidentally aggroed whatever, just thrash them, and I'm going to try and charge onto the gargoyle. And now we're going to be reaching the third boss, which is Maleki the Pallid, and he has some adds in front of him, but once again we can just one-shot everything because we're max level. And this is the third ziggurat and therefore a third crystal to destroy. I try and jump over and use a thrash and try and get as many acolytes in one hit as I can. On that one I got all five of them, which is great. And now finally we're going to the Slaughterhouse Courtyard. We need to kill nine of these abominations, as you can see on the right-hand side. And they're just in through here and they're spread out very far. So I'm actually going to de-shape shift back into human form and use Moonfire so I can just one-shot these guys from afar with an instant cast. 
and I try and get the further guys first before the inner guys because I want to kind of keep my character around the center of this so that I'm right next to Ramstein the Gorger. I spam Moonfire so he dies as soon as the doors open, and I try and kill everything that I can in the meantime. Now all the undead will be spawning from the western gate. I kind of just sit here and wait till they all group up. Kill them once with a thrash. And now the Blackguard sentries will spawn inside the ziggurat where Ramstein is dead. I kill them there and then run in and kill Riven there in the back. I loot him to see if I got the mount. I didn't. I'm going to reshape shift and use all my movement abilities to escape the dungeon. Now, while walking out, the one thing that I'm basically going to be doing is using my movement abilities whenever they come off cooldown, charging any enemies that are in an appropriate position that'll gain some speed from it and close some distance, like this guy right here. And also, I'm taking this eastern pathway back because, once again, if I go through the western pathway, it does lock you in unless you speed through it really, really, really quickly. And if you do get locked in, that's just 20 seconds of you sitting and waiting there while rats beat on you. Even if you kill the rats immediately, you still have to wait about 20 seconds for those gates to open. So we want to avoid that taking the eastern pathway, which I'm doing. I accidentally aggroed these guys, so you're going to see me shapeshift and unshapeshift a handful of times. The reason I'm doing this is just in case any other frost bolts hit me, that would slow me down and I would actually break that slow by shapeshifting. And here we are, and the run is over. The timer on that was 3 minutes and 34 seconds, which is a pretty fast run, uh, if I do say so myself. So that's 3 minutes and 35, 34 seconds for a full Strathome mount attempt. You can do 10 of these per hour, which means that you're basically going to have 20 minutes of downtime at the end of the hour where you can't do anything. You can try and swap to another character or just chill and say that your mount runs are done for the day. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you can get the Death Charger's reins on your first attempt or even your hundredth and not your thousandth. Let me know how your farming is going in the comments. Thanks for watching and take care.